Reading 012. Unit 1. Lesson 2. RV Nomads. By the end of Unit 1, Lesson 2, you'll be able to recognize the main idea in the reading text and locate important information from the text. Let's take a look at some vocabulary. Shift. This could also mean change. Stuff. This could also mean things. To swivel can mean to turn. To cruise in this context could mean to drive easily. And diesel fuel is a type of gas. Understanding the text. Read the online article below, then complete the following statements. The Webers currently live in A. Osmond, Nebraska, B. Edmonton, Canada, or C. On the Road. A full-time RVer is A. A person who lives in a recreational vehicle, B. A form of transportation, or C. A type of fuel. The Webers A. Wish they had a regular house to live in. B. Do not regret the decision to live in an RV. Or C. Get greater gas mileage in their RV. Let's read the text. RV Nomads by Russ Keen. Nine years ago, Duane and Mary Jane Weber, both 56 at the time, said goodbye to their settled life in Osmond, Nebraska. They sold their newspaper and printing businesses, their cars, their home, and just about everything in it. They bought a recreational vehicle and have been driving ever since. There are thousands of such people. Escapees RV Club reports that there are 34,000 member families who are full-time RVers in the United States and Canada. Never have the Webers regretted the extreme shift in lifestyle. It's not for everybody, though. First, it takes a lot of love to make life on the road work. According to the Webers, you have to want to be together. You have to be compatible. Second, you have to enjoy the traveling lifestyle. Third, it's not for people who like to own a lot of stuff because there just isn't room. The driver's seat is a comfortable living room chair that swivels around to face the windshield. Cruising down the highway is like sitting in your living room and looking out a picture window at continually changing scenery, Duane said. Scenery isn't the only pleasure of RVing, according to the Webers. The couple enjoys trying the various foods around the continent. They prepare most of their own meals in the RV, however. An RV can cost from 40000 to 900000 U.S. dollars, depending on the many features that are available. Once on the road, the main living expenses are food, clothing, and diesel fuel to keep the RV moving, the Weber said. True, diesel is costly in the United States, and the RV is not fuel efficient. Duane likes to tell people who ask about the gas mileage that it's not great for a vehicle, but pretty good for a house. Now, complete the following statements as I read to you earlier. The Webers currently live in the road. They live on the road. However, from the text, you can read that they came from Osmond, Nebraska. Number two, a full-time RVer is a person who lives in a recreational vehicle. And number three, the Webers do not regret the decision to live in an RV.